Another technology that we're very excited by that is related to imaging cancer at the earliest possible stage is a new technology called photoacoustics. You perhaps had an ultrasound where the ultrasound uses sound waves to image, for example, a fetus in the womb of a mother, or an ultrasound to look at the breast, to look, for example, at masses in the breast. But you may not have heard about photoacoustics. In photoacoustics, light enters the body. It interacts with molecules in your body, including molecules in cancer cells. And then there's a slight production of heat, a very, very slight change in temperature. And that leads to pressure waves, which then leads to sound. So light goes in and sound comes out. And we're developing new kinds of scanners to take advantage of this, so-called photoacoustic scanners, that will let us then image the presence of cancer cells at the earliest possible stage in a very sensitive way. Because light can travel through several centimeters and sound can travel through many centimeters, we hope to be able to use photoacoustic imaging for early cancer detection in ovarian cancer, prostate cancer, breast cancer. It would not be suitable, for example, for brain tumors because of the presence of bone and the inability of sound to traverse through bone easily. But in the breast, prostate, ovaries, it becomes a unique tool. We're building not only the physical instruments that will let us image these organs and cancers hidden within them, but we're also building imaging agents, imaging agents that when injected into the body, go and find the cancer cells. And then when we use photoacoustic imaging, those imaging agents absorb light and produce sound giving us even a more specific signature of cancer. And so photoacoustic molecular imaging is another exciting technology that we're currently exploring and hope to be using in patients in late 2011, early 2012 to see the advantages of this technology for detecting cancer at the earliest possible stage.